Well, howdy YouTube, Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse, and today I have to correct a mistake that I made. Um, I've been eagerly anticipating MB 3.6 release, and I found out just a few days ago there is no MB 3.6. Sorry, uh, I, I misspoke. There is, however, MB 4.0. <laughs> We're going to talk about that right now. So this is not a demo of MB 4.0, but we're going to talk about it. I've got it up, I've got it running, and it rocks, and I love it. And I'm about to tell you why here right now. So let me bring up on the left monitor here, uh, introducing, announcing MB Server 4.0. Uh, now they're going to warn you, uh, after installing the update, the server will begin a database upgrade operation, so be prepared for that and set aside some time. If you've got a big library like I do, it could take a while to uh, get the database updated. And looky there, item number two, no telemetry or anonymous usage reporting. Remember the big kerfuffle with Plex last year? Uh, a couple of years ago, I don't remember when it was, when it came out and they found out they were monitoring what you do and sending your telemetry and your anonymous usage reporting. It has now been completely removed, according to MB, from MB. That is a big plus. Although I'm not overly concerned about telemetry or anonymous usage reporting, I don't get scared over those things. It's just another thing to rile people up, I think. Um, you know, it... it but it, but it tells you where what direction MB is going. They want trust from their customers. That's something that Plex users have complained about over the last few years is that uh, what are they doing with our data? What are they? Who are they telling what we're watching, et cetera? And, of course, a big one now uh, is the MB Live TV guide data. And I can tell you from personal experience, it works fantastic. Schedules direct, you've been great. My fear with the MB live TV guide data is that I would not be able to do multiple guides. I use an over-the-air antenna, and I use the uh, Silicon Dust Premium uh, TV service for $34.95 a month, uh, which I actually I enjoy greatly. I really do like it, uh, and, and the family likes it. Uh, but they do support multiple uh, guides so I can have an over-the-air guide for my over-the-air TV signals and I can have one for uh, The silicon dust service and you could have for example, you could have one with your over-the-air and with your cable uh, TV provider, etc. So new levels of performance uh, It's running great. Uh, let me tell you I've used the MB uh, studio program that is included with MB. It runs great. I have used the Roku client. It works great. I have used the uh, NVIDIA client uh, and it works, or NVIDIA uh, Shield client and it works great. Uh, it now supports uh, hardware acceleration. So they've actually, it was in beta before. So if you have an NVIDIA or you have a uh, uh, AMD, a Radeon card, uh, and it's a supported model. You will have a uh, hardware acceleration when available. Uh, and I can speak to that, that it works well. Uh, you'll be able to choose your hardware decoders and, uh, whether it's H.264 or H.265. Uh, so it were it, whether it's a, it says right here whether it's QuickSync, Nvidia, Direct DirectX, VA API, Media Kodak, or others, this will allow hardware transcoding performance to perform better than ever. And now, one of the nice things is you can monitor this on the server dashboard. Uh, so the green bar indicates current playback position. The orange bar designates the range that has been transcoded so far, and transcoding throttling is back. Uh, active devices on the dashboard. It's uh, MB server is now available for Android and NVIDIA Shield. So that's the server program. So if you want to run it on the actual NVIDIA Shield, you could. You can do uh, multiple <coughs> resolutions on TV shows, uh, grouping into collections, etc. Expanded filtering. Uh, go to the MB website. Uh, read the information for it on yourself. I have upgraded MB on my Windows uh, machine that's behind me. It's a, uh, it's a i5-4570 processor, and it's got an AMD uh, RX 560 video card in there. 
I had no trouble upgrading. It works fantastic. So that being said, in the next uh, coming days or uh, maybe a week or so, we're going to do a soup to nuts tutorial on MB on how to set it up under Windows, uh, how to set it up under your Synology NAS. If you're so inclined to use a Synology NAS, we're going to show you how to set up your live TV, your guide data, etc. But um, uh, I'll just tell you from we, we uh, set it up the other day. We used it. We ran it all day. We had it uh, streaming video on four different devices uh, on my network here. Uh, never had a single problem. I was able to live stream uh, two shows from uh, the uh, Silicon Dust Premium TV service and two over-the-air TV channels at the same time. We have tested the recording. It works well. So come back and join us again for those videos. They'll be coming up the next, yeah, maybe week or so. I just want to make sure I have my all my ducks in a row before I put the video out. But if you're waiting to upgrade... Um, that is the one thing I have not done yet. I have not upgraded my Exponology NAS from 3.53, I believe it is, to version 4. So we'll let you know how that goes as well. So I hope you're enjoying these MB videos we've been doing for you. And I want to thank the subs that turned me on to MB and told me to give it a try. Because if I don't have somebody's recommendation for a piece of software or lots of people's recommendations, I'm not going to try it. And I am so glad that I, I tried MB. The problems I had with Plex and the new interface and recorded in a live TV, I don't have those problems on MB. Now, it's not perfect, okay? I have found some glitches, and I had had some problems with the new version, but I'm sure they'll be worked out in time. And they're not none of them are deal killers. It's, you know, it's just a matter of restarting the server if you have a problem. And like I say, uh, the other day it ran, MB ran four simultaneous uh, streams, plus was playing high-def videos on four different devices, and we never had a hiccup one uh, at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm in love with MB, and I told you that I have switched now from Plex over to MB. I'm going to keep using Plex, and I'm going to keep it active, but it's not my daily driver. Uh, my spouse is totally in love with the features we get in MB, and that it just works and gets out of the way and allows us to, uh, you know, view our huge video library. So there you go. We hope you found the video entertaining and informative as always. Please give us a thumbs up down below and leave your comments in the comments section. You guys have been great with your comments here lately. I really love interacting with all my subs. Uh, now at some point it's going to become overwhelming, I know. But let's let's enjoy the moment while we have it. Leave your comments down in the comments section. I enjoy answer i try to answer as many if not all if i can uh and if i don't if i didn't answer your comment please don't get your feelings hurt uh, don't take it personal it's just i've been so busy here lately so donate if you're so inclined we're still we're still getting closer to our halfway goal or 300 dollars to get that uh, that new ubiquity switch in here to do some wonderful other 10 gig networking so Thanks again for coming by, and please don't forget that we will see you on the other side.